When birds first appear in the fossil record, there are no crows or herons or hawks or ducks or any modern bird. In fact, these early birds have been classified in a group all their own, the Archaeornithes. Uh, these include Archaeopteryx, the first bird, and J. holornis. Uh, these possessed not only teeth and clawed fingers, but a long reptilian tail. By the early Cretaceous, uh, this uh, tail had been reduced in these ancient birds in forms such as Sapiornis and a, a group which uh, is related to Confuciornis. Uh, this group can be called Pigostylia uh, for the formation of a pigostyle, the fused tail bones characteristic of the tail of modern birds. So in the Cretaceous, the tail of these ancient birds was uh, reduced, a feature which would be uh, continued in modern birds. Interestingly, Confuciornis and its relatives uh, seem to have possessed a sexual dimorphism where one gender, which we often presume to be the males, possessed long feather uh, feathers on their tails, perhaps with some significance in courtship. These tails themselves are interesting because they seem to be a mix of scale and uh, feather features, so these may be reminiscent of the proto-feathers uh, from which flight feathers would have evolved.